If you got a new MacBook Pro, you definitely need one of these. What's up everybody, Roderick here with a must have, a no brainer for anybody who just picked up a MacBook or if you've had one but you've been living without one of these, I'm not sure how you've been managing that. But if you have, you need this. It's the Lenovo Ultra Slim USB-C Hub. As you should know by now, Apple got rid of all the legacy ports on MacBooks. Now they just have USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports. So since that happened, you can't use all your old peripherals including SD cards, regular USB-A devices, and even HDMI output. It has three USB 3.0 USB A ports, a 4K HDMI output, and even a micro SD and full size SD card slot. All of that's in this one little device. You just plug it in one USB 3 Thunderbolt 3 port and you're good to go. That makes this a six in one device and it's apparently really slim, so that's pretty amazing. And if you want to pick one of these up, I don't know why you wouldn't want to because you definitely need one of these. The link's down below in the description. We're going to take a look at this right now. All right, so this box is as basic as it can get, just all white. Oh, and inside we have another box. Now we're onto the real box, the Lenovo USB-C Hub C1110. Look how small this thing looks. Now I know that's just a picture and it's not actual representation, but I'm pretty excited for this. On the back, a bunch of stuff we don't care about. Ooh. Well, this is a nice touch. We have a little drawstring carrying bag. It feels really nice. It even has Lenovo branding on it. And let's see inside. Ooh, nice and soft touch. I'm digging this. Also inside is a warranty card, a user guide, and the ultra slim hub. Wow, this thing is small. Look at it compared to my hand. I'm actually really impressed with this. On the side, we have the three USB 3.0 ports, micro SD, and full size SD card slot, and then the HDMI output. On this side, it's empty. On this side, we have some information. And on this side, we have Lenovo. We have a decent length USB C cable. And this thing feels really light. It feels so small. It's a little bit too small for all the stuff it's actually doing. That's crazy. For a quick size comparison, this is the one I've been using. Check this out. Look at the size difference on these things. That's insane! It's less than half of the size of this one. That is insane! And it has basically the same ports. The only ports it's missing is the Ethernet port, which I never use anyways, and the USB-C charging port, which I don't need because I have another USB-C port on the laptop. But this is insane. It's so small. Here it is next to an Xbox controller. Here it is next to a credit card. And here it is next to my MacBook Air, which we're going to be needing to do this test. Super simple. Just plug and play. Just plug it into one of the USB-C ports. And we're good to go. While it's plugged in, it does have a green LED indicator light to show that it's receiving power. So now for the first test, I have an external USB hard drive. Plug it in. And there it is. Success. And success. Now one of the main things I'm going to be using this for, SD card slot. It is kind of weird you have to put it in upside down, but at least it works. And success. Now none of my laptops ever even had a micro SD card slot, but this thing does, so let's try it out. And success. Now because this thing is so slim, the SD cards do protrude out a little bit, but it's not a big deal if you're sitting at a desk. And now the final test, HDMI output. And just like that, we have Mac OS on the big screen. All in all, this is my new go-to must-have gadget for the MacBook. And if you don't have one, you definitely need to pick one up. If you don't have one or you don't want one, I'm not really sure how you're doing things because there's literally no ports on this MacBook. So if you do want to pick one of these up, the link's down below in the description. Comment down below and let me know how you guys are enjoying the dongle life. I'm actually not too mad about it because it's all right here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I just have one request for this thing and it's really, really simple. Make a gold color because I need one that matches this thing because that looks so much better. I got the space gray one, but you know, it still works, but it's, maybe I could paint it myself. I don't know. But that's basically the only gripe I have about it. It's not gold and I love gold. So until next time, don't forget thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see you around.